Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this a cactus costume and it's super easy and really cute, work, school appropriate, warm, cozy, and you're a cactus. So I don't know what else you want out of life. It's just the sweater which is really really easy and then this little hair thing and you can even use a flower crown, make a flower crown, buy a hairpin, whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. I think the hair, the flower crown looks really cute too. This is my first Halloween video this year and I'm really excited. So um, look out for some more coming up. I'm pretty excited. So if you want to know how to make this really easy costume, then let's get right into it. So you're going to need a green sweater, a white embroidery floss, and a needle. So I just cut a really long piece of the white embroidery floss and I'm going to just make rows of knots. And I made them about inch, inch and a half apart. They don't have to be perfect because, you know, cactuses aren't perfect. Cacti, I guess. <laughs> so I just started at the shoulder. I don't know why I started here. I went back down the sleeves later. So you just pull it through almost to the end. You want a little tail hanging off. And then you just tie it, and I tied it twice just to make it extra secure. And then trim off the excess as short as you want it. And then just repeat this all over the entire sweater. <laughs> so I'll show you the process again. Just stick it through a little piece. Pull it through to the end. Tie a double knot. And trim the excess. So like I said, I just did this over the entire sweater. I highly suggest uh, putting in a movie or two and just watching some TV or a movie or something while you're doing this. Um, some good Netflix binging. <laughs> it's just kind of mindless, so it's really easy. So then I went back down the sleeves. And when I did each row moving down, I went into the space in between so the rows were offset. So it wasn't just like really straight, you know? And my cat seemed to like it. So when I was done with the front, I went ahead and did everything on the back as well. I just want it to be completely done, um, but it's up to you. And then for the flower, you just take some yellow or pink fabric, that's generally what um, cactus flowers are. So I took some yellow t-shirt fabric, laid it right sides together, and then I just drew a curvy line. This is going to be like the petals, um, and they don't have to be perfect. Again, nature isn't perfect. And as you'll see, this flower doesn't even look very good, so that's okay. So, and then before cutting, you're going to go ahead and sew over all of the curves. This will make it easier. The fabric won't roll up while you're trying to sew it. And you have to go pretty slow for this because you've got all these curves and corners. And I realized as I started sewing this that t-shirt material probably wasn't the best idea. But it worked, worked out in the end. Then you're just going to simply cut around the curves, being sure to clip all the way down in the corners, um, but just don't get the stitches. This will just make it easier to turn right side out later. And go ahead and flip it right side out. And the bottom doesn't have to be closed off, it can be open, it's just whatever, it's just how my fabric was. And then go ahead and flatten out all the petals. Then I tucked in each edge, and then I did just a little gathering stitch, just hand stitch, all the way down at the bottom. This will just give it some more volume and just make it easier to roll the flower. 
Then when you're done, just tie it off and even out the gathers. And then I just sort of rolled it like this, like the petals were kind of flat while I rolled it. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. But I just got it to where I was sort of happy with it. It's not the most perfect flower in the world. There are tons and tons of way better fabric flower tutorials if you want to find one of those, or if you just want to buy, you know, a flower crown or a flower um, pin, whatever you want. I think a flower crown would be really cute too. So then just gather it all together in your hand and just start stitching the bottom. And I'm just kind of stitching on the outside, just getting it all together. Just making sure it's not going to go anywhere, come unraveled. Then with the excess thread, I just wrapped it around the bottom. Just to get a little more stability. And then tied that off to make sure that didn't unravel. And then just attach it to a clip or a pin and just pin it in your hair. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. That would be super helpful and nice. If you make this costume or anything from any of my previous videos, please go ahead and post a picture to social media and tag me so that I can see it. And be sure to check out my Halloween videos from last year. I've got um, a Rapunzel DIY, Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy makeup, and some others. I don't know. But be sure to check those out if you want some more costume inspiration and then I will be doing some more coming up that I'm pretty excited about. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye!